Hi, I'm Barry. I've now uh, cut all my lengths uh, ready for wallpapering this ceiling. I've just followed the manufacturer's instructions. It's a drop match pattern. And if you've referred to my previous video uh, about how we match the patterns up and how we cut the paper, you'll see I've got um, uh, five number ones, or six number ones, and also six number twos as well. Okay. Usually we'd stack them on the table and then we paste them one in, or individually and then just leave them there and paste them as we're going along. But because of the nature of this paper, it's only a two or four minute soaking time. And what can happen is if I've got paste on the, the pieces underneath, they can then over soak and then it just expands too much. And then as it dries, then it shrinks and that's where you get that fine white line or that line coming through on your wallpaper. Okay, so just, just bear that in mind. So I'm just gonna paste each one individually and then put them up as I've put them up before. Okay, I've stepped the ceiling back. So again, I'm gonna split this light. Okay, so I'm gonna put all my pieces in uh, and I've made a mark just up there and I'm gonna chalk it again like we've done on our previous video. Um, I've just made a pencil line again, um, which was, I got it there as 29. I'm just gonna do the other side as well. Okay. I'll run my chalk line through that. And the same with this side. Again, I'm not going right the way to the, to the corner. Again, because the walls can sort of curve around or they can curve out towards the edges. So I've got my chalk line there. Um, I'll dip from this side. A bit of masking tape. I've, again, I've taken the chalk line out. I've taken all the excess chalk off. We don't want too much chalk on this ceiling. I'm gonna put it on my marker. Secure it with some masking tape. It comes just through it's right the way through this mark. Put it tight. And there's one little snap. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to be the first piece I'm going to do. Okay, and I'm going to be standing here with my head right underneath the line and we're working away. Okay, and then the second piece is going to be this one over here, but I'm going to be working this way across. Okay, again, so you're always working away from yourself, not against yourself. Okay, it just makes it a lot easier. Okay, and they do say you work away from the natural light. So what we said is this is going to be our window wall and the natural light is going to be coming in through this way. Okay, if you notice on the cross lining I've gone that way okay, and then this and I've, on when it's the finished paper I've gone this way. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is the measurements. It would mean that if I went that way with our normal paper or with our finished paper we would only be getting one piece out of a roll. Okay, so it's a bit shorter this room. So this way, I'm definitely getting two pieces out. Again, so I'm saving paper and saving the customer money. Okay. Right, let's get one pasted up. Again, I've got a two minute to four minute soaking time. So if one piece soaks for four minutes, then the next one soaks just for four minutes. Okay, don't get mixing them up. Don't get leaving them. Again, this is where you get shrinkage on your, on your gaps and you get overlaps and all sorts of different problems. So if one does four minutes, the next one does four minutes. So a good paper angle, just get, take the time and you make a mark of what time it goes up. Okay, right, let's get some pasting done. Mm -hmm. 